Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to talk to you about a few things that make me feel flawless. I saw this on Marlene Fab and Glam's channel. I will link her video where she talked about, and I can't remember how many items it was, but the things that made her feel flawless. And and I was thinking, I definitely wanted to do the tag, but I was having a hard time coming up with the things that make me feel flawless because I very rarely actually feel flawless, <laughs> to be honest with you. So it's like, um, hmm, okay. So, and a lot of the things that I think make me feel flawless are things that I've pretty well obviously talked about. So, we're getting ready to go on a trip, and I said, hmm, I'm going to take all the things that I know I cannot be without that make me feel like I look really good or better than normal or something like that. And of course, the trip is really important. It's a wedding, and I want to feel flawless. I don't know if I'm going to achieve that, that I want to feel that way. And I also realize that oftentimes how you feel and how you feel you look is an internal thing. I think sometimes we don't clearly see ourselves in the mirror. Sometimes we see a very distorted image of ourselves. I, I At least I think that that's my case. So... The things that I want to bring with me on the trip that I'm going on that I know will make me feel like I am looking as best as I can and be as flawless as possible in that sense. So starting with, we're going on a plane, so obviously we're going to be wearing face masks and all of that stuff, but I'm thinking when we land, when we land, we get into the hotel, we have a couple of hours afterwards to kind of refresh to you know to kind of regroup and then we're going out to a rehearsal dinner that night and we land I think about almost noon time and then by the time we get our luggage and get over to the hotel and all of that I don't think we can check in until like after three so what what am I going to do so the first thing I figured I would take a shower which would be a normal thing for me after flying especially and then I said and I, I texted my mother-in-law and I said listen I'm going to bring some of my face masks do you want me to bring some for you and of course she's thinking face masks and I'm thinking skincare masks so she said when I explained she said sure so things that make me feel really good is when I do a and it's not like I can do a facial at home because I really can't but after I wash and I do all of that I want to make sure that I have my favorite masks and my favorite masks are from City Beauty I've talked about these ad nauseum on my channel but this is the line smoothing hydro mask and so I've got a number of these extras so I'm going to bring some for my mother-in-law and some for me so we can sort of give ourselves a little bit of an indulgence when we go there I probably do a face mask I used to do it every single day. I don't do them every single day anymore, but I probably do a face mask maybe four or five times a week. I absolutely love it. I have many different masks that I use. I love Hydro Masks from City Beauty. I love Gin Amber's masks. I have Dr. Jot. I have a bunch of different masks that I've gotten a TJ mask. Anything that is, for me, hydrating type of a mask is what I need. That's the type I need. And so, yes, a good sheet mask a good mask after I wash my skin, clean my skin, definitely makes me feel flawless. Now I'm going to bring cleansing and all of that stuff and I don't want to talk about that yet because I just recently talked about some of my favorite cleansing products and I'm going to be bringing that. Secondly, what I'm going to bring is my New Face device. I've talked about New Face. This was originally sent to me complimentary. I have been using it pretty well consistently. I really like it. And I feel in my mind that when I use it, I am exercising my face. And obviously when I wash, I kind of massage my skin as well. My nails, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go get some sort of a um, 
manicure before I go. I'm trying to let my nails, I filed them down, I'm trying to let them breathe a little bit before I start putting polish on them, but I am definitely gonna go for a manicure. Anyways, uh, my new face device. So, I just feel this, this carries on in the manual massaging and exercise that I do to my face. I believe this helps, and, it, and I know there's many different other devices. Whatever you're using is perfectly fine. Obviously, if it's working for you, this type of a device, I think, is really awesome. And I spend, I don't know, I can tell you how many steps, close to a thousand steps in the morning because I monitor my steps. So when I'm doing it, I'm walking in place, and I'm going up and down my face and massaging, and I put the, the new face, the gel on, and then I go up this way, always in sort of an upward motion. So I do like three different areas in my face, three swipes each time, and then I come down and I go up from here to my, na my nasal lobial folds or whatever they are. <laughs> I try to do that. And then sometimes I just do my neck right around here, my chin again. I don't do my neck consistently, but I should. And normally then I go to the other side of my face and I do, I repeat the same thing. And then I do my, I, my forehead. I have the different attachments. Sometimes I put the attachment in and I lift up my brows. Sometimes I just do it this way, where I'll put the gel on, lift up my brows. And whether it is in my mind or not, I don't know. But I feel after I use this that I feel that I look better. Would I say flawless? Maybe as flawless as I can be, but I feel I look better. So this is definitely coming with me. I absolutely love my new face device. The other thing, and I've talked about the frownies before, so I'm not going to really go into it. I've just ordered the ones for my face. I want to try those. I've had used them many years ago when I... I didn't like how they felt on my face. The frownies on my 11th don't bother me at all. You know, you, you clean your skin, put your skincare on, let that absorb in, tear off the frowny. It is in a triangle shape, and I normally you know, stretch out my skin, wet the shiny side, put the frowny on, hold it in place 20, 30 seconds, and then I'm good to go. I notice, especially when I don't wear a frowny, I notice a big difference in the morning. It's a temporary thing, but it makes me feel flawless. It does. It really makes me feel good. I, when I get up in the morning and I see those 11s there, I'm like, ugh, you know, I forgot last night. But when I get up in the morning and I see my frowny there and then I soak it off very, you know, very, get it really wet and I take it off and I, and yes, I have 11s. They're definitely there, but they're not as noticeable as they are when I, when I don't use them. So yeah, you know, I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I feel really good when I take those frownies off and I don't see those 11s there. I really, I really do. The other thing that I feel super awesome about, and I'm so excited because I have a coupon code for every single one of you. Now, I'm not an affiliate member, so I'm not making any kind of commission on this, but um, passing off, passing on a savings to you. I always had a coupon code for Miku CBD oil, uh, but they've increased it for me, and I'm so excited about that. So to, something about the CBD oil on my skin makes my skin feel flawless. It is my my oil. It is it 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 heals when I have a cut on my face. It uh, it heals when I have a bug bite. Um, in the summer when I had sunburn and I put a little CBD oil, the sun you know, and I very rarely have a sunburn, but I ended up I don't know what it was and it was on my nose, and um, the CBD oil just gets rid of it. It just makes it so much better. It takes away a lot of the pain. But for me, the CBD oil, and Jay takes it internally, I have as well for relaxing me, and I will definitely take it before I get on my plane ride. But um, the CBD oil, it to me is like, I don't know, I feel really good. It's like I get up in the morning and after I've done everything, and I can put all sorts of peptides and all sorts of moisturizers on, uh, whatever it is, but when I put that CBD oil on, my skin just feels completely different than any other kind of moisturizer that I've used. So my CBD oil and the, my oil of choice is Maku, and I've got an awesome discount code for you to use. It's Monica50, and that is super, Monica50. I don't believe there's an expiration date, but I'm not positive, but give it a try. 
So my CBD oil. And then, you know, we do all this stuff like use Retin-A, do everything to protect my skin, um, to uh, not to protect it, but to make my skin as good as it possibly can so I can feel somewhat flawless. So I think lately, especially important that um, we, we use good serums and we use good products and we protect our skin. So I have so enjoyed, and I've talked about color science, I have purchased Color Science products. I have received Color Science products in the past from Octoly. I love Color Science Sun Block, Suntan Lotion, whatever you want to call it, sunscreen. I, I have three favorites. One is my City Beauty and one is my Australian Gold. But the one that I know I can always wear under my makeup without any issues and, and you know, I can put the powder on as a touch-up is definitely color science and I have the face shield 50 and then I have the little powder stick that I have carrying around I love love that now I would never get enough coverage with the powder stick alone but with this and if there's any kind of a sunblock in my foundation absolutely so I am loving this absolutely love it and I do feel that it is going to help me preserve <laughs> my skin for sure so what I have also been using from color science and this was sent to me complimentary it's called even up and it's a multi correctional serum multi multi correction serum and I really like it so here's I'm going to read some of the benefits to you radiant and even tone this diminishes the appearance of dark spots age spots and other discoloration over time of course you're not going to put it on it's not going to disappear right away it's everything is over time you know the biggest the biggest thing for failing or the biggest path for failure is when you're impatient and when you're greedy Really, and that holds true in almost every business because then you start taking shortcuts so you give up or you go try to find a fast way around. But you have to be patient and you can't be greedy in the sense like, I want it now, it's gonna be all mine, my, my, my way. You have to give it patience, you have to look at the whole picture and, and just give it that time and understand that there might be better results on this spot or that spot or whatever. So, um, I think it, it also touts that it's going to help even or give you a smooth texture. Definitely, definitely, it says hydration, intense hydration. Definitely intense hydration. So what I've been doing, there's a whole bunch of different information on this. What I've been doing with this is I have been putting it on in the morning. And of course, when you put this on afterwards, then you can add more moisturizer if you want or whatever you want to do. But this place, super, super nice, of course, with the sunblock. So that's been my routine. The other thing that makes me feel flawless, believe it or not, is the Color of the World lipsticks. I know when I put those lipsticks on, they may fade off, they may rub off, they, you know, I may need, need to retouch. They're not going to be long lasting. But I know when I put them on, they're not going to be sneaking up my wrinkles. You know what I mean? The, the lipstick is going to stay put. I'm not going to look in the mirror and see, oh, little crevice here or whatever. It's actually going to stay put. And that makes me feel flawless. My lipstick is still in the position it was in. So my color of the science lipsticks. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different other things that can make you feel flawless. But probably the most important one is how you feel about yourself and, and um, gosh, cut yourself some slack. You know, we have in our lives, some of us gone, have gone through so much and we've had heartache and, and we've had good times and we've had all sorts of different experiences and every single experience you have makes you who you are. And wipe that mirror down and take a good look at yourself not the distorted view you see of yourself where I'm not good enough I'm not pretty enough I'm not thin enough I'm not young enough you know y you are yourself and I think acceptance of yourself when you start to feel comfortable with yourself and I'm not saying that I'm there in the sense there, there's lots of things I would like to change about myself I'm not saying that that it's you know you can't you have to accept 100% all your flaws you can work on things if you have flaws like diet for me um, you can work on things 
but don't beat yourself up, you know, really, really realistically look at yourself and, and say to yourself, I am strong. I have gone through a whole lot in my life and these lines I have, they are all, all part of the path I've gone through. And, and, and yes, you have to say the words, and you know what? I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am not invisible, even if though we do, even if we feel invisible at certain times, you know, you're not. So uh, I know I'm messing up what I want to say. I think what it, what it comes down to is how feeling flawless and looking flawless is all going to be within you. We can have the tools that we use to help us get there, you know, and the tools that we use to help us get there are awesome tools. But ultimately, it, it's all, it's all us, baby. It's all us. It's how we perceive ourselves. These things, they just help. They just help a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So, waking up in the morning and looking at myself and doing self-talk helps me feel flawless. You know, and sometimes I say, oh, you know, you're not that bad. You're 67 years old. You're not that bad. You look pretty good for your age. Yeah, you need to lose weight. Yeah, you need to do this. You know, but you look pretty good for your age. Self-talk. There's always room for improvement, and there'll always be naysayers. There'll always be those people who go, oh, you don't look good. You look old. You look fat. You look this or that. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. And yeah, I do feel flawless at times. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you so much. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.